Hello, my name is Bob Evans and today I'm going to give you a quick overview of L-shaped precast concrete retaining walls. Here you can see a selection of L-shaped units being used in a housing project. L-shaped units can have a smooth concrete finish or can be textured concrete and stone faced as you can see in the images on this page. There are two main types of L-shaped retaining walls, bolt down and cast in. Both need to have a foundation designed to ensure there is no slippage and overturning. Corning units are available. The design table shows you some typical foundation sizes for cost purposes. The foundations need to be designed for every project as the soils are always different. There are two design options, standard and inverted. The standard design is more common and more efficient. The inverted design needs a key to prevent slippage and overturning as the design does not use a mass sitting on the foundation leg. This table shows you a range of L-shaped units from one manufacturer. It gives you the sizes and weights of the units. The question everybody wants to know is how much does a retaining wall cost? To answer this question we have created a retaining wall design and price guide. The guide details all the retaining walls on the website, provides a design guide to allow you to cost out the wall yourself, or you can use our cost table that we have developed. You can use the table to calculate a budget for your project. You can also compare the cost of different wall types. We have a three-step process to support you with your retaining wall project. Step one, help you select the right solution for your requirements and budget. Step two, design a solution for your site and soil requirements. Step three, prepare material schedules to obtain competitive prices using our supply chain. The next step is to ask us questions and tell us about your project. We can then support you to deliver it and probably save you some money. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.